Hey everybody, this is the Mr. New Vegas from Boneyard Creations. Today we're going to be presenting our first ever Boneyard Bulletin. This is a new video idea we came up with that can showcase some of our projects, partnerships, and other ideas for expansion. As you guys are well aware, Boneyard Creation is trying our best to move past mod lists and into multiple different facets of gaming, whether it be gaming servers or other avenues. We still do want to focus on mod lists, so these videos will give us some time to show you everything we've been working on for a certain time frame. We may not be able to release these month by month, but when we do, we promise it'll be jam-packed full of content. So hopefully you guys can sit back and watch, and I hope you enjoy. As you guys know, mod lists are our bread and butter here at Boneyard Creations, and will continue to be for the foreseeable future. One that you might be familiar with is the list Forlorn Hope for Fallout 4. Forlorn Hope is a spiritual successor to Capital Punishment, which intends to bring the doom and gloom of the Commonwealth to a level reminiscent of titles such as Metro 2033 and Stalker. While not much is ready to be shared in regards to this project, much work has gone underway and full-scale development is planned to begin after the 1.5 release of Capital Punishment. This being said, we're also looking at several other different lists. One list you guys might be familiar with that's already out is Nostalgia. Nostalgia is an original Fallout New Vegas experience heavily inspired by the wacky nature of the original Interplay Fallout games. From new adventures, updated graphics and animations, optional supplemental installations such as NVR, new world spaces and world additives, all the way to an older style UI, you'll be able to experience both New Vegas and the original Fallout experience in a brand new fashion. One list that you might wonder why it's even in this category is Dungeons & Daedra. As of the posting of this video, D&D has been taken down. I feel personally that in both iterations, I've taken too many shortcuts in development for this, and that I could do much better. That being said, I need to take the time to learn the tools to modify Oblivion before I try to release a finished product to you guys. Dungeons & Daedra is a mod list which aims to bring the Elder Scrolls to its original inspiration of Dungeons & Dragons. Through various mechanics and graphical updates, it aims to do just this. Now, in its current iteration, it's largely thanks to both the Heartland team and Bevelex's famed modding guide, but as we continue to update, we hope to bring a brand new experience that is not derivative of any other experience to you guys. The next list on our development roster is Path of the Incarnate for Open Morrowind. This list is hoping to offer a stable and immersive experience to new and returning players. Morrowind's much-loved alien world has been overhauled with new features, improved lighting via shaders, enhanced gameplay such as new leveling systems and rebalance quests, weapon, armor, and clothing additions, lore-friendly overhauls of Yardenfell's different regions and settlements, and lots of exciting new quests and locations to explore. Unlike most of the lists that have been showcased, Path of the Incarnate is actually relatively far along. It's been in development for a few months by Clavy, and right now we're just working out some details to make sure it has a smooth and ready to support release. Moving into newer game territory, Lost Runes for Skyrim Anniversary Edition is a list which intends to completely overhaul the feel of Skyrim into the role-playing game it was meant to be. Through various graphical improvements, large new landscapes, and intuitive role-playing systems, this experience brings many ignored or otherwise neglected details from the original Skyrim release to light and improves them tremendously. One list you might all be very familiar with is Capital Punishment. Now, Capital Punishment is approaching its 1.5 and 1.6 releases pretty quickly, and with the work we're doing right now, we're feeling very comfortable with where it's at. A lot of updates to graphics, different UI options, different options for accessibility, casual profiles, and much more are going to be added to this update, and we just can't wait to share it with you. For those who don't know what Capital Punishment is, I'll have a link in the description to one of our last trailers we made. You can go check it out and see if it's for you. Other than that, I'll give you guys a short description. Capital Punishment is a hardcore TTW experience focused on plentiful gameplay changes, graphical fidelity, a true hardcore experience, and bringing roleplay elements to the Mojave and Capital Wasteland, all while preserving and improving upon the many features we love from the original games. Explore these two wastelands in a new fashion, with a plethora of new weapons, locations, player homes, graphic enhancements, bug fixes, balancing changes, and much more. 
at the end of the day, all of these are carefully integrated together to create a cohesive experience. So remember, this list is not for the faint of heart, but rewarding to those who take on the challenge. If you've been able to catch some of our announcements or you're in the Boneyard Creations Discord, you probably know that we've been talking a lot about expansion and looking at new projects other than mod lists. Right now, we have one solid project in mind that we have already begun work on. This is a Minecraft RPG server. We wanted this project to have some inspiration from our mod lists such as Capital Punishment or our Oblivion mod list Dungeons & Daedra, and at the end of the day we settled on Dungeons & Daedra. The reason for this is because it's just much simpler to port an RPG Elder Scrolls type system and the themes into Minecraft. Right now, we're simply building out the beginner areas in the world, and while we do this, we're figuring out ideas for where we want to go and what directions we want to take. Right now, we're looking at a faction server which also has MMORPG type elements around the world. In addition, we wanted to have some inspiration from Skyrim and Oblivion, where the player can build into classes and feel like what they choose is actually going to matter towards the end of their gameplay. These ideas and the many others we have are simply just ideas we're bouncing around at the moment. The server is still in very early development, and we hope to have it released after Capital Punishment and the few other things we feel like we need to do first. Regardless, we're going to try our best to release something that you guys can come to and enjoy on a multiplayer platform. If you've been in the Discord or if you've been around the community long enough, you know that Boneyard Creations has undergone some pretty big changes. One of those that's currently undergoing is our launcher. This launcher, which will release for support with Capital Punishment in 1.6, will allow you to change between graphics profiles, change INI settings, and a bunch of other features that are completely hands-off for the user. Some other changes we're hoping to make in the near future to Boneyard Creations is a new website. We do want to keep the wiki that we have as an information center, but we'd also like to have a place that can showcase some of our projects, mod lists, and other things that we decide to take up. Now, we do not have a current dedicated web developer, so if you have any web development skills, we would love to have you, and you can contact me at my at below. To add to this, we're also always looking for staff. Whether you want to help in a helper role, or you'd like to be in more of a development role, we're always looking for new people to bring a new light to these projects. If you'd like, you can use that same app, which should be below on the video and in the description, to contact me, as well as use the form below to be able to apply. On another note, we decided as part of our expansion that we wanted to start a partner program. With this partner program, we were hoping to bring in small projects that we could help promote that we thought both had good potential and we felt were extremely interesting or matched our values. The first project we started with was Minecraft New Vegas. This is a one-to-one, -one, block by block, complete remake of Fallout New Vegas in Minecraft. In addition, new NPCs, weapons, and even role-playing in a server are there, so you can enjoy the world of Minecraft and New Vegas in one place. In addition to their server, they also host a lot of role-play content and videos on their YouTube channel. If you can give them a chance, go ahead and check them out in the description below. Our second partner, who you may be a bit more familiar with if you're in the Capital Punishment community, is Arc Charger. Arc Charger is the original creator and maintainer for Another Millennia, Tactipack, and a few other add-ons you've probably seen around the Nexus once or twice. For both Nostalgia and Capital Punishment, we use a couple of Arc Charger's mods, primarily Another Millennia and Tactipack. These mods add quite a lot of flavor in the weapons department, and I think honestly they're some of the best made weapons on the Nexus. If you guys have some time, go over to his Nexus profile in the description below and give him an endorsement, give him a thumbs up, give him a nice comment, and show some support. When all's said and done, we'll always be looking for people to partner with. If you think you have a project that meets the same interests as Boneyard Creations, you can go ahead and message me on the server, or you can send a message to my app. That about wraps up our Boneyard Bulletin. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you guys can always come to the Discord and share them. Otherwise, I hope you guys leave a like or a comment or subscribe. If you don't like the video, of course, dislike it and let me know what I can do better in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Boneyard Bulletin.